Shannon, you first. Is it time to go back to Dak? Skip, I can say it is time, but do I believe they're going to go back? I do not. I believe Jerry Jones is very enamored with Cooper, with Cooper Rush. He's never really fully bought into Dak Prescott, and this is his one opportunity because they're winning football games, and Jerry's like, hold on. We don't need a $40 million quarterback. We're running the football. Our defense is playing lights out. The game could not have started any better for the Dallas Cowboys. You lose, <laughs> uh, uh, you lose, uh, well, no, you win, you win the coin toss, you defer to the second half, and basically the same thing we saw this happen the, uh, last Sunday night, Skip. Well, uh, unfortunately, Tampa, they fumbled the thing, uh, the, uh, the kickoff. Yep. The Rams, third down, they hit Matthew Stafford, the ball pops out, D Law scoops it up, scoop and score. Wow. You could not have started any better than what they started. They were all over uh, 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 Matthew Stafford yesterday, Skip, the defense. Three takeaways, five sacks, average 2.5 yards a carry. So you can't do any more. And then Cooper Rush like, well, okay, I guess I'll, you know, I'll, I'll chill lead again. I, I complete 10 passes for 102 yards. And, Skip, as long as you, your defense is going to do that, you look at what they did, gave up, 17, 16, 10, and 10. They're giving up 13 points a game, which is fourth in the National Football League. If you're going to play that kind of defense, if you're going to attack the quarterback like they do, if you're going to take the ball away like they did, if you're going to hold them, uh, they can't run the football. We knew the Rams' offensive line wasn't very good, and they didn't run the ball very well, which was tailor-made for the Dallas Cowboys. And so Cooper Rush didn't have to do a whole lot yesterday. He hadn't had to do a whole lot, considering if you look at the, uh, uh, go back and look at the numbers that that defense has given up, Skip. I do believe that if Dak is healthy, they should go back because I believe Dak for the long term. But do I believe they're going to go back? I think you're starting to come around. You, you, you're like, okay, with Dak, you need to show me you're on the hot seat. I don't think Dak going to be on the seat at all, Skip. Mm -hmm. Cooper Rush, that 10, I mean, I'm like, damn, I'm like, come on, Ram, y'all can do more than this. He only had to throw the ball 16 times, Skip. He had 10 completions. They only had, what, 50, I think, well, 50 total plays that counted. But... No, 53 total plays, 239 yards, and you win the ball game by two scores. So that just goes to show you how well they're playing defensively. They're running the football. They ran the football. They got that one big splash play from uh, Tony Pollard, and really that put the uh, ball game out of reach. So unless you can make Cooper Cup a participant in these ball games, Skip, Rush, which means yeah. Cooper, Cooper Cup. So Cooper unfortunately, <laughs> they, they allowed Cooper Cup to be a participant. Yeah, yeah, yeah they did. He, he, he got loose, but... That one play other than that. Skip, unless you can unless you can make Cooper Rush a participant in these games, an active participant, and I'm not saying, you know, Skip, you got to force him that he's down by two scores and he's got to play well throughout the course of the ball game. Not start well, go through a lull, and then make two or three th uh, throws at the end of the ball game to beat you or get you in field goal range. And uh, if you can't do that, it's going to be tough sledding beating the Cowboys because their defense... They're starting, to, they're starting to get that walk about them, that swag about them, that when they step on the field, no matter who the opposing defense is, they're like, we the baddest mofos out here today, that guys. That is correct. And ain't nothing y'all can that do about it. That is correct. <laughs> Shannon Sharp, what did I tell you all off season? Mm -hmm. My team will go as far as Micah Parsons, 11 from heaven, and Micah's marauders will carry this team. Well, they carried them. Help me out. Do you foresee this team getting in a 35 to 32 shootout? I, I think, Skip, there'll be one game where, you know, you're gonna, your, your defense is going to be a little off and, 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 and teams might have the numbers. So I don't know if it's a 35, 34. I don't, definitely don't see no 38, 35 ball game. Maybe, maybe, Skip, maybe a 28, maybe a 28, 31, maybe a 28, 24 type of ball game. But you got to get more than 20 points. I, I don't see any. Anybody being able to shoot out on my defense. I just don't can see it. Get, I, I could be get, wrong. Can somebody get to 20? How about that? Skip, skip, forget shootout. Can somebody get to 20 to force Cooper Rush to get to 27? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Remember back in 2019 when Dak started off hot the first three yeah, games and yeah. then Jerry said we're imminent on getting a contract done right. and all of a sudden... Dak and his new agent went to contractual war with Jerry Jones, and they eventually won yeah. through gritted Jerry teeth. They yeah. won. Yeah. They took him to the bank. They took him to the cleaners. Yeah. And yet, since that magic moment that he said, no, Jerry, we're not done yet. Right. 
Would you believe his starting quarterback record since that moment is 18 and 18? Would you believe that since your Broncos invaded Jerry World last year, about mid-year, mm -hmm. you know what Dak's starting record is for my Dallas Cowboys? It's six and six since that moment. That includes the playoff loss to San Francisco and the opening night loss to GOAT at Jerry World, right? right? Mm -hmm. When Dak, I think we both agreed, stunk in that game. Yeah. The heat has been turned up on Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott was front and center after the game. Dak spoke more than Cooper Rush did in the locker room after the game because he's saying, remember me? Yeah, yeah. I, I'm the guy. Oh, it's you know, my team. You noticed that, too. Yeah. I know what type of team we can be when we healthy. Yeah. yeah, when we're healthy and we can be an off explosive offense. That was a shot at Cooper Rush. We're going to dive deep it, into it that was. in a few minutes. It was. But the point is that I'm not sure about Dak. And I, I'm not sure about this formula with Cooper Rush, except that it's 4-0. <laughs> That's all I know, is that Cooper Rush is as far from Dak Prescott as you can get in ego because he has none. He doesn't care if he even speaks after the game. He doesn't care if he speaks during the week. Right. All he does is he goes out and says, what am I required to do today? Mm -hmm. If it requires me to throw, I will throw. And, and I'm going to remind you, it required him to throw up at Minnesota last year when he threw for 325 and threw a touchdown pass with 55 seconds left. It required him to throw against the defending AFC champ Bengals when in the last minute of the game, they were in some trouble, the game's tied, and he hits three straight big clutch passes. I saw it with my own eyes. It was clutch, clutch, long distance clutch to set up a walk-off field goal. Mm -hmm. I saw him, and all of a sudden, now this game starts to look bigger and bigger. They did go up to New York, and you say, oh, come on, it's the Giants. Well, they're 4-1 and one yeah. now. They're yeah. looking pretty good. Yeah. They beat Aaron Rodgers they yesterday did. by did batting that. down two balls at the end of the game. They did. Thibodeau got one hit, hit, him, hit right him right in the, the face. face mask. Great. Well, way to go, Aaron. <laughs> clutch. Really clutch. There you go. Okay. But in, in that game, when Saquon busted loose and it felt like the sky was falling on my Cowboys and they fell behind 13-6, to six, Cooper Rush said, no, I, I got you. I got you. And that's why Demarcus Lawrence said after the game last night, we know he's had our back the whole time. We trust Cooper. Well, they do. He he did what he had to do at New York with two long drives. They were like 89-yard drives. Skip, I will give him this much, is that any time a team takes the lead, because the Rams did take the they lead 10-9. I agree. And they, he came immediate. It's always, he will answer immediate. And so now all of a sudden, Skip, that gives that team confidence. Like, oh, man, we, hey, we just got the lead back. And so now they come out, the defense come out, and they dominate even more so than they had up until that point. That is give, correct. Give, I'm going to give him some credit, Skip, but he did what he needed to he, do, he even is, though it wasn't much yesterday. He is the answer man against Washington at home. Yep. All of a sudden, Carson Seven, Wentz, six. who's capable of throwing... He, Carson Wentz played pretty yesterday. well yesterday, and then he gags at the end and throws it to the other team at the goal line. Yep. Okay, that's Carson Wentz. Right. But he's capable of being ahead 7-6 to six at Dallas, which he was. Right. And all of a sudden, Cooper Rush said, no, I, I got this. Right. And they rushed for nothing against Washington. It was They had 42, what was it, four, 62 yards rushing, mm -hmm. gave up 142. And all of a sudden, Cooper Rush said, oh, you need me to make some throws? I'll make these throws. Right. And he hit CD for the breakaway touchdown. He makes all the throws he needs to make. So here's my takeaway from last night. It would be wrong, it would be unfair to throw Dak back into the fire at the Eagles. They are on Philly fire. They, they managed to survive, as Jen pointed out, she was there yesterday, but they managed to survive when Amendola missed a 43-yard field goal. Right. But look at what they're doing with the turnover differential. They are running away with it. Is that not the stat in yep. pro football? Mm -hmm. They're the hottest team. They're the You've said repeatedly they're the best team. How fair would it be when Dak's not exactly sure how strong he can grip a ball under fire to throw him into that fire at Philadelphia? It, would, it just wouldn't work. It, it would be unfair to him. It'd be unfair to the football team because they would forever be wondering, I wonder if Cooper could have won this game. You, you do realize, like, the more Cooper Rush wins, the further okay. that that, uh, date, that date that Dax okay. is ready to play All right. gets pushed I, I back. I keep harking back to 1991. I saw Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson do just this same thing with yeah. Steve Berline, and you know Steve Berline. I do. I play with Beeline. I, I don't believe he's better than Cooper Rush, but we could argue that all day. They're oh, you don't think Beeline was better than Cooper? No, no. I, I'm I, I'm saying I, I think Cooper Rush is better than Steve Berline. You do? Was. Oh, yes. I disagree. Okay. With that one. All right. Okay. Well, go back and look at the numbers Steve Berline was putting up there. Cooper-esque yeah. numbers, but the point is 
that in 1991, he got a hot hand. Troy Aikman was the first pick in the draft, and he healed his sprained knee. He was ready to go. They made the playoffs. It was a breakthrough. Nobody saw him coming. And they're going to Chicago to play Dickens Bears, and Jimmy and Jerry, the, the co-signing, said, Troy, no, I, I, we know you're completely healthy. We got to ride the hot hand. Right. It's the same thing all over again. Okay. We got to ride the hot hand. And by the way, Steve Berline won a huge game at the end of the regular season at Buddy Ryan, at Philadelphia yeah. against Reggie White and company. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and that set the table for what was about to come. Okay, well, is history going to repeat where the, the second after Steve Berline shocked Ditka at Ditka, they went to Detroit and got their doors blown off yeah. by the Lions. It wasn't Barry Sanders. It was Eric Kramer. Right. But Herb the point Herb was, Herb. is that going to repeat on next Sunday night? Will they get their doors blown off? Well, it's possible. I just want to see what Cooper Rush can do. Well, you I want to see if the formula works. But you, so... You ask him, you know, you ask him for trouble. You know, he Cooper Rush goes to Philly and beats Philly. Okay, you I, it's a great problem to have. <laughs> Why wouldn't I want? That's what Jerry was saying when he said I'd walk all the way to New York for this problem because it's a great problem to have. You can figure this out. Is Dak the answer for the long term? I still think he is. But every time I watch Cooper Rush operate the offense, I say, God, this works. Yeah. Because the defense is obviously, to your point, getting swaggier and swaggier. Yeah. This defense walks on the field and says, we got this even against Matt Stafford. I know his offensive line isn't even remotely what it was. And they, the, the shock to me is that they had only 38 yards rushing after Washington ran wild on Dallas. But... They showed me. They bowed up. It was a manhood game for them to stop the run, and they shut it completely right. down. Well, they know if they can stop the run, now we can just pin our ears back and go get okay. Matthew Stafford. And, and, they, and they hadn't and they been able to run the ball all year, Skip. Okay, so the beautiful formula is that if, if you win the takeaways three to nothing, especially if you can get two quick ones, and all of a sudden it's nine to nothing because your snapper misses yeah. the, the call. Of the, he's, he's yeah, the he snapped snapper. it early, yeah. Okay, it should have been ten to nothing, but whatever. But it the, the point was, if if you win the, the turnovers three to nothing... And you get a and, score on their possession. Yeah, and you, you've got a scoop and score, and and y y y you can still... You can let Cooper Cup get loose one time, and that that's the only thing. Like, like it should have been like a... The, held him to three points because, help me out, if we could see, it's nine to nothing, right? Mm -hmm. The point is, he's faster than you think he is. It, yeah. And, and here's my other point. It was the only pride goeth before the fall play of the whole game where they just said, you know what, our corner's better than your receiver. Right. No, he's not. No, 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 he, not in that situation. Listen, listen, Cooper Cup is going to run what he'll set. I don't even know if they keep records for this, but he's going to set the target's record. Oh, because when in doubt, Matt Stafford just throws it to Cooper Cup. Well, I think the thing was in that situation, um, Diggs was trying to get a play. Skip, they run a shallow cross. That route that he ran... Okay, with, but he we, had him single. They, yeah, they didn't even bracket but, him. But what he tried to do is he, what we call jetting the route, which he tries to undercut it. Okay. And see, if you remember last year, they ran the same kind of route in New England. Mm -hmm. He picked that and went to the yeah, house he, because he, he jetted... Well, the pass is way out in front, and Cooper comes right, to right. one hand. And that's what happens. Now, you jet that route, and you miss it, or you undercut, and you miss... He gonna hit his head on the goalpost like he did. Okay. And Skip, but remember now he, they hit Atwell on the deep one, and the and the Cowboys bowed their back yep. and knocked them and made them settle for a field goal. So give the Cowboys defense credit because when that long run, you're like, okay, here come the Rams. That's the big play. The Dallas is gonna be wheeling, reeling. Nah, no, we're not. Okay. We're just gonna sack Matthew Stafford to make you settle for a long field goal. Okay. So all of a sudden it's ten to nine. Oh, did they might have missed that field goal? Uh, um, yeah. Right. It's ten to nine Rams. Right. Yeah, yeah, after all oh, that, 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 yeah, yeah, that yeah. made it 10 to 9. Okay, then the answer man answers. Yeah. Cooper Rush comes right out at second and eight after they tried Zeke for two yards. I guess it was Pollard for two yards. Second and eight from the 27. He's capable of doing that. Yes. You have to let him try. But I'm going to remind everybody who says, oh, he should play more than Zeke. If you look at what he did against Tampa and against Washington and add up those, those yards and carries... Right. He had 14 carries for 14 yards combined against Tampa and Washington no. because he'll have games where he doesn't get out of the block. But you got to put it, Skip. You got to put him in space. You got to let him get ahead of steam because he he can break tackles once he get ahead of steam. But he's not like Zeke. He's nope. not going to run through contact through the un, in the backfield. Sometimes now, I they think did he's great... underrated on that, but he can't do no. it like Zeke. No, no, no. And the, the, he did a great job. McGovern did a great job on Aaron Donald cutting him off. Aaron Donald was only able to get a. And then once he hits that set, once he hits the second level skill, yep. now it's a foot race. He breaks a tackle, makes a guy miss, and yep. good luck catching him. Okay, I'm but he, happy but, he's but, back. But more, he make more routine plays like that. Yep. That's especially back shoulder. He can make the tough catches. Like I said, I, I, it's not like 
oh, he's a must-have. Yep. But uh, that throw right there, that was a big-time throw. That was a big-time catch because the DB was in great position, 30-16. I mean, hey. And then he's got a third and four after this. I won't show it to you, but he has a third and four and hits CD for nine, which sets up the 19 to 10 field goal. And now I'm breathing easier because it doesn't look like Matt Stafford can score another point, no. which he couldn't score, no. right? Skip, I, 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 I felt that once the game got to 19, I didn't really feel I didn't I didn't feel that the Rams could really threaten anymore because at that point in time, now the defense is starting to feel themselves. They're like, oh. Y'all can't do anything with us. Y'all can't run the football. We're not even thinking about the run. We're not even thinking about Henderson. We're not thinking about Akers. All we see is nine. And we're coming to get him. Okay. And they came to get him. And they came and, and got him. And by it. the way, the back seven is pretty good. And it's getting better because yeah. they are three deep at safety. Malik Hooker got the, yeah, the interception, obviously. And Diggs is playing at a high, high level. Yeah. I know he tried to jet that. And, and he gambled and he, <laughs> he lost. Did. That's going to happen. And that's all they got the whole game. They got a 75-yard breakaway. Right. And, right? The, and the long one, the, the Atwell, where yep. uh, Diggs just opens up on him yep. and just lets him run by him. I don't know if that's the right I'm call not, I'm for not somebody sure that, that kind was. of speed. It was a Von Miller special. He got some dip going and he got some, some yep. leverage underneath him. Yeah. And all of a sudden... It's over, and I just hope that Micah's groin is going to hold up for next Sunday night. But I'm assuming if he got, if he came back in, you should be okay. Well, the thing is, Skip, he's not going to practice. He'll get an opportunity to rest it all week. I agree. Week. I and agree. And then, the, hey, if you're going to hurt this groin, you damn sure not going to hurt it in practice. You're going to hurt it in the game against the Eagles. So rest up, ice up, get as much treatment as you possibly can, and get ready to go. I'm a little more concerned about Demarcus Lawrence because he banged his head and they took him out, and I, they didn't say he's in concussion protocol, but I'm pretty sure it was a concussive issue. Okay. And I, I he didn't, I didn't go back that. in. I didn't see that. He didn't go back in. So I don't know what's going on with him. But in the end, Cooper Rush did exactly what he needed. I know the stats look pathetic, but, but they, they don't matter because <laughs> all that matters is you're 4 and 0. Yep. You're 5 and 0 oh as a starting quarterback. And I believe that yesterday, because of the groin injury and because it was a national TV game right here on Fox, I believe Micah edged out to the lead in Defensive Player of the Year off the end of that game well, because I, that was impressive. Well, I think the thing is because Bosa, Nick Bosa, was leading the he, league in sacks, and he, he tweaked his groin, and he, he did, missed and the he rest of the game. He couldn't go. Right. I think he was gone pretty early but in But you game. know, Skip, guys that, that we're not getting a whole lot of talking about for Defensive Player of the Year is Von Miller. Because he's resurrected that Buffalo Bills defense. And it. every time well, he It seems turn... like he resurrects everywhere he goes. <laughs> he does. He does. He yeah. does. And the Rams are missing him. Yes. And I thought it was brilliant that they, they finally split Aaron Donald out. And I told you going into the game, he had played 262 snaps against the Cowboys in five games and had one sack. And all of a sudden, they put him out on Tyler Smith, and he's going, boom, boom. And I thought, uh-oh, he's going to wreck the game. But I'm asking, I was asking, why are you letting him go one-on-one -on -one with Tyler Smith? Well, you I, better I put a tight end over there and slide the protection. I, I think they were shocked that they split him out, which they do on occasion, yeah, but they, not yeah. that often. Not yeah. that often. But anytime yeah. I see Aaron Donald's not going one-on-one -on -one against anybody. No, no, not off the edge. <laughs> you know what? They, they should use him more like that. Seriously. They will. I mean, Ooh. but you have to understand, uh, normally those tackles, left tackles, are, are, they're your best offensive lineman in the pass rush. So I kind of want Aaron Donald going against guards, or I put him against a weak tackle. But Aaron Donald said, oh, that's a rookie. Ain't no way he know all Ain't the sets. Ain't no way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cowboys like, okay, we better get a tight end over there. Woo. But he was going to wreck the game if y'all didn't. Cooper Rush should start at Philly. He's going to well, start. One more time. One more time. Oh, no, he's going to start more than one. How much the drama in Dallas keeps you up this trouble, week Skip. because you know that. I love Dak trouble. is okay. supposed to start throwing <laughs> okay, this week in practice. <laughs> Be okay. very interesting to see yes. what he looks like. Thanks for watching, Undisputed fans. Subscribe here to get the very latest from Skip and Shannon. Plus, go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.